Kyle goes. I don't even know. Maybe in there somewhere. Okay, it's time to do it once again. This is day number 10. Woo! And um, I think I uh, calculated about, oh, we're, we're 30 plus hours into this now. So it's, uh, it's definitely a lot and um, still, still far from done. So, but we are nearing that spot for me where I start to get a little more excited, I can see, I can see that it's working, and um, uh, I can kind of take off, as it were, and get uh, just get really pumped. I'm gonna get in the way here for a second. Sorry, world. It's gonna be a bit. Sorry. I'm gonna wasn't quite as ready as I thought I was going to be. So I need to grab the drill for this, right? Yeah. Okay. Somewhere downstairs? I don't remember. Wherever, I think wherever it was left last. I think I just put it in the, the little room outside of the garage. Yeah. So, working on the, the hand today, we've got everything mostly blocked in and ready. Um, my underpainting is going to help serve me. One of the things that happens with painting hands is uh, it's the, the colors are just a little warmer, uh, a, a little more ruddy, and um, you know, kind of keeping that in mind. Uh, is is uh, is a good way to just start. So I'm gonna I'm gonna kick this off with a nice uh, stroke here and. There's that thumb. It's happening. All right. So, so don't be surprised if later on you're like, oh, that, so that's the thumbnail for the, that's, why he was that's, all that's the, the what's happening. Um, mm -hmm. Yep. Gorilla marketing? I don't know. I don't know what that Gorilla marketing. Is. I don't know what I'm talking about. Uh, that's a good word, I guess. All right, I'm going to make this thumbnail and then I'll go grab the door. Okay. And then I'm also going to figure out how to get into your Reddit. Okay, sounds good. Make whatever password you like, really, anything. Okay. Yeah, that's right. We're going to try to get going on all the things. We're already on most of the things. <laughs> to, a, to a degree. Um, And these shadows are really pretty dark. Uh, I can I can make out just a little bit against the um, the darkness of. Ooh, you know what I forgot to do. I'm gonna do a quick restart of my uh, my efforts. No, 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 no. Uh, we're we're all fine on the stream. I just uh, I just wanted to do something different. A little too eager. Uh, I'm gonna wipe out everything I did. I'm gonna take the kind of makeup sponge and just um, wipe that out. I wanted to take just a little bit of a dab of walnut oil here, and um, and just rub in.
do a slight oiling out of the area around the hand. Um, and this is just going to help me see, see how much uh, darker these values are now. Um, when, when I oil it out, it's, it's back to what it looked like when it was fresh. The paint just went down. So this is a, this is a walnut oil gel that I'm putting down. Uh, I've got it from uh, natural pigments and, uh, it's, uh, it's handy for stuff like this. So, so there we go. Every, everything is, um, that just gives, allows me to key in this area a little bit as compared to what's around it. And then I'm going to take, um, because I don't want it kind of sopping wet, I'm just going to take a paper towel and, and just rub that out. And this will also give me a little bit of um, uh, viscosity to lay in some of the colors. Um, all right, back to what we were. Hey, at least I didn't have to wipe out a whole lot more. So, definitely in the past. You say this was day 10? Yep. Okay. I think so. Yeah, for sure. sure. I was thinking in the, in the future, rather than having like day 10, part one, part two, um, maybe we just say session each time. Um, uh, yeah. That was just a, a thought I had. Uh, and then it just... So for next time, the next one we do. Okay. Well, I can go back in and just change it. Yeah, that's a lot, though. I oh feel. yeah, I guess I'd have to change all the thumbnails too. That'd be quite a bit. A little bit of design change to sessions longer than day. We might have to change the hierarchy a little bit. The design. Oh, and I'm, I've got to say too, I, I'm so pumped. Um, I got the first track back um, uh, from my friend uh, who is going to make some music for these live streams. And um, uh, it was one of those magical moments. So, you know, Torn, if you're listening, uh, it was just one of those magical moments where I, I didn't necessarily know what to tell him, but I knew kind of the sound I wanted and and he, he just nailed it. I don't know. Uh, so, uh, so I, I think he just, he just knew <laughs> he sensed it and he, he just got it right. I was so really, really excited about that. Um, and we're kind of, we're working toward that. So there's going to be, Maybe some music uh, in the, you know, in the coming weeks. Uh, you know, I, I don't know when, and uh, we'll, we'll probably after we finish this piece, take a little bit of time off from live stream, live streaming. I might make one piece without it, um, and may, maybe save the best parts uh, for the live stream for the next one. We'll we'll see. Uh, I, I am surprised at how much quicker I get tired uh, just painting while live streaming, having to talk and explain and continually think about, oh, uh, what, what, what am I going to say here? Um, Plus, I can't say all the dumb things that are rattling around in my brain, <laughs> so I'm about to explode. So, you know, we're <laughs> we, 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 need, we need time off, you know, sabbatical. Yep. Um, we're still gonna record everything. Yeah. Yeah. Maybe. It just might look like uh, time lapse videos instead for the next one, uh, but never fear, we're gonna we're gonna keep doing it. Um, so just like I did yesterday in working on the face, uh, if you haven't got a chance, you know, swing back in to, to that live stream. Um, I'm I'm establishing. My, my darker values here and 
I just want to get those locked in because they, they really help me tell how light to make the rest of the piece. Um, and again, these darks I'm putting in are, are transparent. And so they're, they're, I'm really depending upon some of the buildup I have done in the underpainting. And um, that, that stage was just, was critical and getting that right. And just getting something there in which to work, work off of. Still overcoming a cold, so, you know, a little nasally. Might be some sneezes. Heads up. But at least you're not in the same room with me, so. Yeah. Yeah, about that. I am. <laughs> um, Sean uh, is, uh, mir miraculously is not uh, got the, the house, house sickness. Yeah. I knocked on wood right there. Couldn't yeah, oh, man, I heard it. I'm with you. So in laying down these uh, darks, I'm also slowly working my way towards some of the lighter values. Uh, and value, by value, I mean uh, relative light and darkness. So I'm kind of working my way there, finding the next darkest areas to, to lay in. My goal in this stage is always to Um, give enough of an impression of what I'm depicting so that when I kind of go in with a little bit of refinement, um, most of the heavy lifting has already been done. And I'm just really, I'm not, hopefully, in, in, these, in these times, I'm not having to fix any drawing mistakes or anything of that nature. Um, although, I do make plenty of drawing mistakes that I have to correct on the fly. So I hope that's encouraging. Um, I, make, I make a lot of mistakes. But I still do it. I think there's a, there's a lot of gifted painters out there um, who can just kind of make this stuff happen. Um, and it's rather effortless. Uh, for me, it's not. It's it's kind of a battle each time. Uh, Sean, you can pop on your headphones, and if you go into my Facebook and to Messenger, you can click on that link and. And hear that song if you want. Okay. So go back a minute. If you want. Oh, did you say it? Oh, uh, yeah. I wasn't paying attention, but I did pick up a little bit of that. The um, Brock? Uh, no. Uh, Torn. Oh. <laughs> yeah, see? I got bits and pieces of that. <laughs> yeah, hey, but... but speaking of Brock, um, he, he was in yesterday for the stream and he asked where you were and how you were doing he said, he said he was he's, he's missing you so oh brock no i, I yeah you're, you're thinking of the other brock yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. oh okay cool how's he doing uh doing good. good so again still uh appreciate appreciate him his presence uh it was great it was great having him on yeah for sure hey did you want me to put like hands on the thumbnail or did you just want me to put the picture of the hand like did you want it to be annunciation live stream day 10 hands or do you want it to just be annunciation live stream day 10 and then the picture of the hand no oh, i just put hands i don't know if uh i didn't put so, that on any so, so i'm not sure this is like youtube mysteries um what do they actually use to help people find your videos you know there's there's like they themselves say hey it almost has nothing to do with your tags we don't really use tags unless you want to put misspellings of things 
Well, no, you you actually put hands in the thumbnail. Right, right. Yeah. Okay. Um, and so my my thinking was, okay, well, I, I definitely want to title it hands, uh, so that you know if somebody were looking, mm -hmm. how to paint hands, they would find it. Yeah. Um, so I, I'm f I'm fine with it. If you think it looks weird, it doesn't bother me. You need to get out. So. It's just none of the other ones have it. Okay, then that's that's perfect. I mean, meaning that, yeah, don't put it in. I would have liked to. I mean, I I tried that on my first round. Not a lot of space. Yeah, but I just feel like it would probably, especially on the parts that have like part two and part. I well, just feel like it would kind of. I mean, if anyone's looking at the the overall. Um, If they're just looking at all those thumbnails, I mean, it does show what I'm working on that day. Yeah. So, I mean, I think that will probably be probably pretty self-explanatory. And maybe we can try it the other way in the next round. Okay. So, uh, and so, uh, you can kind of see, I'm just, you know, piecing, 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 uh, piecemeal, putting these uh, little shapes in here. And um, uh, I, I'm I'm enjoying how it's going. Hopefully, uh, we end up with something that works. Uh, the the big thing is is I'm <clears throat> I'm still following the forms uh, of each digit, and I mean you can even see probably maybe um, I can never I never know quite know what's visible or not. Um, you can probably see what's happening uh, even in the underpainting. The the marks are following the form. The hand I'm really excited about is this one. That pinky over here uh, is going to be rough. Um, it's just really foreshortened. Uh, it may turn out alright. We'll see. Or I may grumble the whole time. You? <laughs> But I think that's half the part of being a painter. Being grouchy. Well, no, like verbalizing your frustrations and working through those. Or being grouchy. Maybe, maybe, maybe not grouchy. Uh, maybe just over dramatic. Mm. And it's okay. I'm over dramatic too. And, and, and kind of manic. It's okay. It's um, okay. And so as I continue to work toward the light, I'm, I'm just looking for these little planes of color, you know, in some respect, yeah, I'm thinking about it as a hand, but in another way, um, I'm just breaking it down into multiple abstractions, you know, just these little shapes that I see. And I just, I find that really helpful you know, I'm not, I'm not psyching myself out. Um, you know, w worried, hey, oh, is this, is this working? Um, but instead, um, just really getting those major planes of color down. And the hand, with that regard, is really complex. Um, Guess who's logged into Reddit? Hey! I don't know on which pages to share various things, but... You can also comment on all the other people's. I'm just... Everything okay? Yeah, I'm trying to figure out what scam this is. <laughs> they literally just said, hey, repair bills. I would like to help you avoid this. <laughs> what repair bills? I need to know. I have no idea. I have no idea what they want. Um, yeah, so I'm going to post some stuff 
I'm ready. But I'm gonna go grab the drill first. Sounds good. Let's start getting in some of the lighter skin tones here. Capture that palm in the light. That palm is, is very warm, warm and pink. And uh, the fingers themselves uh, in the light here, a little cooler until you come to, and this is just the nature, um, for those of us uh, fair skin, um, like the tips, I mean, you'll even see just on mine, there's just a warmth that happens as we near the nail bed. And those are all things that I'm, I'm thinking about um, as, I, as I work my way there. And, and and we all we all understand that and intuitively. And so in you know when that's when that's in place, um, we get it. It feels natural. Not trying to get down to the details just yet, so you know the and and even the fingernail itself. You know I'm not going to spend a lot of time trying to really get uh, a, a really descriptive fingernail or really any small detail for that matter. Small small details. Um, I think they just detract. And if you're kind of looking at my work and thinking, well, it's a lot of small detail. Um, yeah, it's not because really I'm focused on these major color shapes that I've built up and that's it. I'm going to work around those. Um, you know, there's maybe in this particular hand, those major color relationships are maybe maybe going to add up to maybe 50 tiles, maybe 60 tiles of planes of color. That's it. Um, hemmed in here today. So um, the real question should be how does it how does it feel to paint um, in a like <laughs> an 18 inch by 18 inch space? How good can you do it? <laughs> how good can how, how good can the painting be?
behind the scenes uh, footage would reveal. Uh, I just don't have much movement space. <laughs> So I'm thinking about borrowing a friend's camera so that I can situate a palette cam and and have a kind of a dual camera set up. I'm definitely not in the position to pick up something new. Um, my moderator is away at the moment, so if you have a if you have a question, you can just you can drop that off, and I will uh, I'll get to it as soon as I can. And even if um, you have to go, I'll I'll still drop off my answer, and uh, you know the video is going to be here. It's here. You're going to be able to tune back in. So some of my, so immediately, you know, and I knew this was co common, you know, but you're always hopeful that it's not. Um, I just needed to get in here and adjust the drawing on this finger a little bit. There we go. Oh, Brock is here. Hey, Brock. What's up? Final dual camera setup. We don't have a dual camera setup. We're 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 working on it. Yeah, I, I was I was t I was mentioning that, you know, hey, it's our goal. We need we've got uh, we've got a friend who has a really nice uh, uh, camera that I might be able to talk him into. Letting me borrow it again. Then we might have to get creative how to mount uh, this other camera. We want us to do it on the pallet, right? Uh, yeah, we'll have a camera on the pallet. I don't know if you want a, a face reaction cam. I need the webcam just showing my face. <laughs> just kidding. Post it up on top of the <laughs> Rock, how are things going in Turkey? Yeah, I, I, I told uh, Sean you were asking about him. Oh, dude, I've been asking about you since we started live streaming. I commented with our uh, our friend from India uh, this this morning on Instagram. And, oh, really? Uh, yeah. And, and he... And he said, oh, I keep missing this. And I'm like, man, we'll be, we'll be there today. So he liked that comment, so he, he might be dropping in. Very cool. That's a cool thing about this. Yeah. Or at least the, the time we're doing it seems to favor everyone uh, in uh, the East. Because the east, we're like, oh. Because this is like at 10 o'clock or 11 o'clock at night. Every, everyone, well, where everyone uh, here is like, oh, sorry. I'm at work. <laughs> I have to. Do it I have to... <laughs> uh, yeah, it's. Uh, he said it's pretty hot here. Summer heat is beating us, mm. and um, I feel you. It's like the one really good thing about working from home. Is I don't even know how hot it is until I walk outside, and I usually don't walk outside until. Well, I guess I go outside to like vape, but it's not nearly as bad as working in a machine shop like I used to. Do they, do they have any um, climate control? Uh, yeah. I mean, we had air conditioning and stuff. Oh, okay. But it was like old school. So it was done with like water. Mm, yes. So if they turn it on, then it's on for good. If they turn it off, it's off for good until they get someone in to switch it back out. But yes, two days ago, we got a really nice thunderstorm. And then yesterday, it was super humid. 
Maybe we'll be two. It's gonna be a brutal couple of days. How how hot has it been in Turkey? Are you like hitting hundreds or I don't know what the climate's like there? Celsius, bro. Centigrade. It's too much. <laughs> too much math. Um, yep, this is not America. This is the rest of the world. I have no idea what Celsius is. I mean, I know what it is, but um, I don't know. Hey, what screws do I use for this? Um, there's a packet. Uh, there should be, along with the D-ring, there should be just a packet of screws. Mm, maybe not those, but in there somewhere, there's just a, a free-floating packet of screws. Sean's uh, framing a painting today. I'm delivering to a client, so really pumped. Uh, got a nice sale today, so always a, always a good day. Uh, not those. There's others. Uh, there's got to be more in there somewhere. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, that's it. Okay. Yeah, so delivering opinions, eh? Good stuff there. Um, he said, God helps those who work outside under the burning sun. It's really difficult. Yeah. And, uh, yeah, we use the metric system and Celsius and all, you know, 21st century things. Yeah, sorry, we're uh, we're like uh, way way stuck in the past, uh, and I don't know terribly. Um, I don't know, egocentric. America. Yeah. What? Yeah. But yeah, it's pretty bad. We like to talk about the history that we want to talk about. <clears throat> Try to forget about everything else. It would make sense to have a universal metric system, like. like I, I I think it can't even happen. I think the sheer cost, uh, the infrastructure changes required for a shift like that. Uh, no, I mean it. Like uh, I don't. I'm sure there's a YouTube video on on how, uh, what it would take. Um, I mean I. I feel like I've heard estimates uh, that, I, that I don't remember any numbers, but it's, it is an impossibility, uh, more or less, at, at this rate, which is hilarious, it was ridiculous, but it is, it, it is what it is. Um, okay, so do you know the exact length of this frame? Um, just stretch out uh, to a certain point and then make a mark and then stretch out from that point and, oh, okay. and uh, yeah. some tools, I don't know, Lim not lim limited tools. <laughs> oh. I'm just going to use this. Okay. It's probably going to be in the 45 range. Yeah, Rock, I'm going to let you contact America. Yeah. He said it has to be done someday, sooner than later, sooner the better. I'm not let you <laughs> take that on. America's kind of stuck in its ways. That's true. T t yeah, t t t take that one on the road. See, see, see how far you get. <laughs> you can call up Biden, see what's up. Forty-six, so two-thirds of forty-six, twenty-one, twenty-two, yeah, twenty-two. Twenty-two is one-third, so it'll be forty-four. Excellent. No, that's not right. So I'm having to do a little bit of uh, just clean up. So this always happens, you know, I'm. I'm always working up to edges. Um, and that's why it's another really good reason to just kind of oil out this area. So, you know, I rubbed in a little bit of oil. Let me see my edges. Let me see the color as it looks when it's wet and varnished and fresh. And, um, and so now I, as I, as I 
kind of clean up the edges a little bit and um, I'm just, I'm still thinking about everything um, that has led up to this point. And then I let the like actual deep part kind of hang off onto that. Um, I like to put it more toward the outside of the frame. So yep, keep going, keep going. There's there's shorter. I don't know if we need that size of D ring. Uh, I guess it wouldn't. That wouldn't hurt. If we if we do that size, that's it's only going to be safer. So that's it's, that's probably good. Um, I'm not framing all that many huge pieces. Uh, Georgia said, thanks to the soft and hard drink industry, America's, Americans are mostly familiar with liquid measures and liters, but yes. gasoline, no. Yeah. Yeah, that two liter, boy, we really... We're all about that. We're that. <laughs> <laughs> That's one measurement. That's a single serving. That is <laughs> a single serving for most Americans. That's true. Yeah, but could, could you imagine, I mean, for instance, uh, having to change the roadway signs across the entirety of the, con you know, of uh, the country to reflect, uh, you know, uh, metric distances. That feat alone, what would it, you know, printing off and creating the letters and numbers alone just to me is that is a gargantuan task and then um, changing every... I mean and it's and again this is just that's just one thing I mean we could we could we could each think of you know four or five different things um, seven. yeah so think of seven things yeah okay. right. so we got road maps we got car speedometers. Yeah. Well, you know that that already has that. They already did that for us. Oh. Okay. Yeah. There's, there's there's a. But that's like you know secondary. Yeah. It's 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 the small letters. You really gotta work small to get that one. <laughs> yeah. You have a good good sight to to see. Um. All right. I got that in on this side, so I'm gonna flip it. Okay. No pressure. It's only. No, no pressure. I mean, really, if you just hold the frame. The frame is nice because it's uh, it's now this extra protective layer. Yeah, you're seeing all these things, but it's not really helping. Mm, sorry. Huh? No, I get it. It's just this is this is a lot. This is for something. Yeah, just just you know, putting it down gently is is the key. Okay. Just make make it sound really nervous. Oh, uh, it's so big though. I can't wrap around <laughs> it. I'm gonna just kind of slide it off a little bit and then grab it. Well, we'll see. <laughs> so I did the one thing that it's fine. It's the frame, right? Uh, yeah. As long as you know. It looks okay. Does there, Does everyone see the dust flying around here right now? I may or may not have lifted the frame in the painting up into the ceiling fan. Yeah, uh, maybe. I definitely did that. That's what that noise was. Oh my gosh. As long as it's not damaged. No. Uh, see, all right. It's fine. I'm damaged a little bit. It, it was stood. So probably need to put this back on the table. <clears throat> it's kind of on me. I I meant to kind of mention that as it was happening. So I'll, yeah. yeah. Well, that's fine. You live and you learn, right? By that I mean I'll probably do it again. But hopefully it's just a good thing. I'm gonna try really hard to remember not to do it again. Ooh.
I, I spent a lot of time in Ireland uh, in between 06 and 09. And you know, the, again, there is a country where people are still kind of, I mean, yes, it's the metric system, but it has the kind of standard English measurements present here and there as well. And so it can be done. <clears throat> My point is, I mean, it can be done. Um, but, but by golly, there's going to be some people uh, who are just really upset about it for no reason. Yeah. Um, no, that is the reason, because there's no reason. <laughs> That's the reason they have. They want to be upset about something. The sounds of the drill. Sean's framing uh, one of my pieces. It's already framed. It's good man. Uh, Brock said, yeah, most of the former British colonies have imperial measurement tools. Yeah, it's because of Britain. England, I was going to say, coming over here. <laughs> Red coats, causing a bunch of problems. We have to do some independence stuff. Write some something. Bill of Rights. Trying to give ourselves rights. And then we beat Britain back and we're like, hey, let's just take on most of their stuff anyway. But hey, at least we spilled a lot of their tea. I'm sure there's a lot of uh, interesting history behind why certain things stuck. And uh, I'm just. Uh, <laughs> Rock said, I mean, British. Sorry. Yeah, that is true. <clears throat> oh my gosh, why are we so going? It's kind of. It's fun to hear an English uh, actor or actress take on um, an American accent um, because in those moments, you know, it's, it's hard to hear yourself. It's hard to hear yourself, but it's like when, when they do it, I'm like, oh, that's, that's what we sound like. Mm -hmm. Oh man, I, that's so true. We, well, I think in the Midwest, we don't, I don't think we have an accent. Well, we still have an overall American accent. Obviously, we don't sound English, right. so, um, so, so I just love hearing, hearing them take on the English accent. I'm like, oh, that's it's cute. Land of opportunity. We sound silly. All right. So, how much do this do I cut again? Um, you just you can just drape it across from D ring to D ring mm -hmm. until you see. Uh, give yourself enough, maybe, maybe about four inches extra of string. Um, now you don't want it completely taut because you want to give a little bit, you know, it needs to still not come above this. If they were going to hang it on one n nail, not to let it come above that. But uh, yeah, you want to give it some, some play. Give yourself about uh, four inches extra of hanging wire on each on each end. And then don't worry about getting it really extra tight. And then it should automatically give you um, some of that. How much is that in centimeters? <laughs> meters? 10? I don't know. No. Yeah, that's my about, about 10, centimeters. 10 centimeters. See, look. We're stuck in our ways. Well, USA had an isolation policy in international relations until the Second World War. That might be the reason why you stuck with imperial measurements. They teach us English in school, 
As American English, so your accent sounds like the perfect English to us. Simple, pure, and much more smooth. I remember the first time I watched a Scottish person talking, I didn't understand a single word. <laughs> it was really weird. Yeah. I do like their accents, though. I'm all about an Irish or Scottish accent. <coughs> it was that cold. Ugh. Yeah. Hey, thanks for that. Hey, I... I... Yeah, you're not like your daughter. <laughs> he literally sprays it everywhere. All right, I'm. I keep uh, I keep putting off certain areas uh, unintentionally, but I realize, oh wait, I haven't haven't quite described uh, uh, this this last bit over here. Are we good? Thanks. I don't know if this is where I have to make that knot. Framer's knot. Dude, don't fail me. You can do it, man. Trust your instincts. Okay, so. What if YouTube teaches you a different knot? Than... Is it the lark's head knot? I don't know. Also I've only ever known as a framer's knot. Also, card the lark's foot, cow hitch, girth hitch, ring hitch, lanyard hitch, bell wow. sling hitch, baggage tag loop, tag knot, dead eye hitch, and running eye. So not this one. I don't know. It could be any of those. The tying wire? Got a piece of... Yeah, it looks more like this one. Kind of looks like that one, too. There. Well, let's do this one and see if this works. Pull that through. Goes up over. It was nice. We got uh, we were we were shared this morning on Instagram uh, by a beautiful bizarre art magazine, and uh, so it was just nice. It's always nice every time some sort of sharing happens because you're kind of in that moment where we experience a kind of flurry of growth. Picture showing how to do it, but it's like super complicated. <laughs> it's probably not. I'm probably making it more complicated. Okay, so. Without looking at all of what you're doing, um, sounds to, like I'm doing a great job. You said you are? No, without looking at what I'm doing, it probably sounds like I'm doing a great job, but let me tell you, I'm not confident. If you, so you put it through, and then you come back around, you wrap it around the wire, and then back through, mm -hmm. and then up through whatever loop it creates. And if, if you've done it the right way, 
it kind of creates a self-tightening mechanism. Yep, there's a, there's a there's a video idea. It's tying a framer's knot. Framers all over the world would probably get offended. Here's the thing, like you if you say something is a thing and someone else thinks it's not, man, are you gonna you're gonna get they're gonna come down hard on you. Um, so that's one of the reasons why when I'm like when I'm painting and you know some of the questions that come through are like, is this, is this your glaze? Is this, um, is this glaze, is a glazing technique or, or, uh, or, you know, how, how are you doing this? And to which I usually just answer, you know, look, it's not, it's not really that, um, because someone is going to say it's not that. What I can, what I can, what I can say is that, you know, I've, I've put an underpainting on, um, and that underpainting shows through uh, the layer that I'm putting on right now. And they both work together uh, to create um, you know, some really nice uh, skin tones and some variation that feels semi-transparent. Uh, so, so let's not fight about it. My knot looks like a pretzel. Is this supposed to look like a pretzel? Uh... No, because that's just a normal square knot around there. <laughs> I mean, without being there with you, I just, I don't think I can describe it. And <clears throat> without looking. So, so framer's not turned up uh, nothing. It's turned up a square knot. It was something, it was a knot, but it's just definitely not the right knot. Ivy Crowl asks, "What side paintbrush you use?" Yeah, sure. Yeah, what what's um. So let's see. Let's just kind of break out uh, what I've been using so far. Uh, I've got a four here and a mixed synth synthetic, and I've got a six. And these are, um, I think this is a bright and this is a flat. Um, at least right now, all I want to do is kind of piece out some of these shapes I'm, I'm seeing. And slowly, I'm kind of working a little bit more detail in. And then this is just a little, I think a zero or something about like that, that um, I'm just going to clean up some of my edges. Um, get a little more specific on some of the shadows and lights and things that I see. And then really that, that is all, uh, I don't want to, I don't want to take this too much farther. I'm, I'm happy with how it's going so far. We're going to, yeah, for certain tighten some areas up. Um, but, uh, so far so good. I'm, I'm pleased. So it's like, like on these edges, I want to kind of come up to these, spots that I just haven't gotten paint in yet. So this is a little, little zero. And you know, the hand itself. So if I just put my hand up next, uh, you know, my, my hand breadth, I mean, this is small. I mean, this is, um, here we go. You ready? <laughs> ready? Imperial measure measurements, probably about four inches by, you know, two to three. And so this is quite small. Uh, you know, I, I like to have near life size faces and hands whenever I can. In this case, I just don't get to do that. Um, uh, just to, just due to my, the size limitations for the painting, where it's going to go. Um, but you know, it's uh, it, it's getting there. In fact, I really one of the hardest things for me to do is. Continue to use. Oh. Uh, yeah, that's it. Yeah. I'm so sorry. Go on. Yeah. They give that a. Yeah. Because that uh, you see how that the one loop that goes over will prevent it from being pulled out. Mm -hmm. Woo. Did it. Yeah. 
Sorry, go on with your... Mission accomplished. Um, so anyway, that's, uh, that's, that's where the challenge is, is trying to keep my brushes big, um, so that I'm just not getting really I don't know, like when you use when you use small brushes and you know, there's nothing something wrong with doing it this way, but it just first of all it takes way, way longer. Um Hey, sorry, take this. When when you when you could uh describe it uh this way. That far? Um, or a little less. I, I would do it a little less because once you tighten that, it's going to give some. So, mm -hmm. yeah, that's probably good. Okay. Like, if I want to tell just the, the edge here where it kind of goes into the shadow, I mean, I could still take this flat. I mean, it's a four. And just pull it a little bit into the shadow. That works just a bit, just as good as my little small liner, um, but so great question, Ivy. Thank you. Brock says, "Welcome to cancel culture events. Someone dislikes what you did or said, you'll be dead to them." Sean is enjoying his time back there. Ha. <laughs> Thanks, Brock. Um, I've just learned how to do this framing on. Again. Yep, yeah, again. Yeah, but, yep. Yeah. But I think since I had to figure it out on my own, I yeah. might remember how to You're do it. gonna remember, yeah. Or I'll forget, and then, you know, whatever. And I'll be around. Yeah. So I, I showed this yesterday, but I'm just going to do it again. Um, you know, most of the skin tones that I mixed for uh, the face yesterday, I'm just using again today, and hopefully I'll get a little bit of life out of just the effort of mixing those. You can't see very well. Okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna bring in here. Yep. Here's here's the overall palette that I'm using, and here's some colors that I've saved um, on the drapery uh, that I'll kind of come back to. And then here's the uh, the skin tones, and there's no, you know, yeah, I tried to mix a few that I saw, but mainly I wanted to just create some variations on my palette um, that that I knew would be some cooler, some warmer, some red, some greens, some blues, um, some more yellowy colors, and and vary those within value as well. So, you know, there's some value, darker value ones here, kind of mid range here, and lighter values here that I then get to play with. Um, and and just begin building. And I, I mentioned that because all of a sudden I looked on the palette and I said, oh, I think that's just the right color to go into this spot. Um, and it turns out it did, and it worked. Hey, Barack will use it to me, so that's really all I need in life. And I got it done, so... <laughs> Your trust in me, Brock, was the thing that really brought it all together. But yeah, man. That I mean, I didn't do much on that painting, but the only reason it's going to be hanging is because of me. That's right. I mean, you definitely could have done it. But... Hey, you you saw the beginning and the end. You Your hand is in both of those. You painted the ground layer for that one too, I believe. Oh yeah, that was the first one. Right? Yeah. Pretty proud of it. And I painted the ground layer of the one that you're working on right now. That's what I'm saying. Doing big things.
All right. Continuing to fiddle to get down to deciding. So when it comes to fingernails and things like that, I, well, first of all, a uh, little, little, little backstory that, you know, no one else is going to know, uh, unless somebody watches this video now. So the model's fingernails are, uh, painted pink. <laughs> um, I'm going to try not to paint them pink. I just kind of go from what I go, for, go with what I know. Um, so I'll, I'll give like a little bit of a, a, a layer of light. And, um, and notice I'm still using this brush. Um, cause I want it to overlap a little bit and be rough. I, you know, I, I never want to be too exact. So if I unfocus my eyes and I'm just looking at uh, kind of the, the nail bed or even just looking at the, the finger in general, you know, like I can make out something about like this. And that's almost it. And there's a few more things that I'm going to Boo. Okay. Screen went off. Let's see. Holy mother with pink nail varnishes would be great, not gonna lie. <laughs> yeah, I, if, if, if they weren't so serious, um, you know, we, we could you'd go for something like that. So we'll, we'll, we'll just we'll just go kind of, kind of natural. How is it eleven? This always shocks me. My time is always so limited. <laughs> like who said you cannot take care of yourself and look good just because you're the mother of God? So I'm gonna I am gonna get up the smaller brush now and in an attempt to just tell a little bit of it's kind of this just point in here.
and say that my video card fell in the end.
So maybe technical difficulties, maybe right now? Are we... Seems fun. Yeah, seems like it's working. All right. Well, we're back. <clears throat> we're back. I think. Thanks for hanging in there. <coughs> so I have a, I have a uh, confession time. I have an old version of Photoshop, and that I bought back when they sold full versions of these sorts of things, and. Um, I, I don't know, I just don't want to pay monthly for for it. And so I, I kind of hold on to that. I mean, I did, you know, those, they are expensive. The, the program was expensive when I bought it. It was 10 years ago. And uh, I just don't have a desire to uh, shell out every month. And um, so I keep using this old version, uh, which is fine. Uh, except that it uh, now cameras are new enough that my my raw the camera raw to open up my my images is so ancient now that it doesn't it, it just can't, you can't update it anymore with this old version so anyway long story short I have to convert every image I take into a DNG. So thank, thanks for everything you do, Adobe. Hey, Sierra's here, because she came by before she's going to Sounds good. Do actual you, work. So I'm yep. going to let her in, I'll be back. Yep, no, no. You can, you can hang too, man. I mean, you don't, you don't have to come back up. Uh, <laughs> Sean's fiance is here. I don't know if she's gonna come up or not, but. This September, uh, good things happening. All right, continuing to block in, get some of these shapes down. I realize, man, I'm running out of time. Uh, so hoping to finish this hand this morning, finish this hand in the afternoon. So uh, yeah, if you, if you come back, that's that's where we'll be. If you're still on, I mean, I realize, too, when a stream suddenly drops, you know, and you're like, what's the deal? Anyway, that, that DNG converter did something really strange and kind of wiped out the computer for a bit.
still battling, just trying to decide, you know, how much detail is enough detail, you know, in, in the hand here. And um, especially in and around just the nails. And I'm always, you know, I'm always searching for that part that is the right amount, amount of information. I don't want to overtell it. I want to let, let the paint still be paint. Um, and so here's, you know, where we just kind of get into some kind of gray area as to, okay, is this complete? Um, is it not? locked in here I will get up my handy dandy mirror take a look and see it fresh see it how I haven't been able to see it um, in some ways you know I'm treating each of these fingers a bit like like a fold uh, and drapery. So I'll do similar things. Um, uh, take uh, take this fan brush, for instance, and I'll follow the form of the finger. So I want to take this. I want to make the shadow a little higher. So I will just take this and drag it up. Um, I can do the same thing here. Drag that around. What's what's always tough about hands, fingers. Yeah, you know, their they're drawing is always hard and weird. And even like, as I look back and forth between mine, there's, there's obvious differences. It's obviously obvious things that are that are wrong, but you know, I'm like, well, it's still, still kind of working. Um, and also bring in my little kind of buffer and follow um, follow those forms too. You know, I don't want to lose too much of my kind of planar shapes that I've built up because those those do a lot uh, of of just describing. to keep there are some areas where the underpainting is showing just I mean blatantly showing through and I like to keep keep those present as well <coughs> yep kind of bummed out David maybe you're uh, watching online maybe I don't know bummed out that you're not here but also, you know, he's getting ready to go to Greece. To Greece. Uh, so I get it. Uh, you shouldn't be in the studio with someone who is literally about to sneeze right now. We'll see. Oh, no, I talked about it. I went away. Build up the shadow just a little more. It's darker in here than I than I have it. Um, and it's amazing what those small changes will do.
and we'll soften this out and I'll try to pull it upward. All right, all painters have to decide this. Uh, when is it time to get mo? G E T M O. Good enough to move on. There's always that battle. Okay, when when is it going to get there? When and it's tough. So there's a few places I'm like, oh, I might want a little highlight here and there, or drop in a few little highlights here and there that I kind of seeing but other than that you know I I think I would I'd probably go ahead and kind of call it a wrap on, on, on this one I'm gonna might oh, now that I say that you know it's always happens always happens I say that and then I want to cool off these just a little bit Uh, the middle finger is is right and these are a little too red Torin420 said Gitmo, that's the kind of stuff I need to hear Club Gitmo, am I right? Uh, you are right Torin Glad to have you on Torin Gitmo, Gitmo, good enough to move on Let's do it Uh, did they put it in a new folder somewhere else? <clears throat> I, th I think I think they might have. So, uh, Torin, uh, I just gotta gotta say since he's on here, he's gonna be making um, the music. Uh, I'm, I'm gonna out, I'm gonna out him um, because because uh, I love his music so much and I, I appreciate him uh, tremendously. And, uh, and Torin, here it is uh, on YouTube Live. Uh, I'm also going to pay you. I uh, just want you to know I want to pay you for your awesome work. Uh, well, too, okay? I mean, you know, I'm, I'm still, a, still an artist myself, but I want to make sure that um, good art has value. So, so Torin's going to be making some of the great music that we're going to hear in the future. Um, and, uh, just grateful for you, my friend. So, oh, uh, yep, not quite as cool as I'd like. I go overboard here, push it a little harder. Yeah, that cools it off some too. That's that's better. 
And you know, all I'm, all I'm using is so, some of those uh, colors that I had, had already pre-mixed. I had a, just a blue, so I'm just kind of mixing it in directly, um, giving it just some of that, um, you know, we, we have some nice kind of uh, red greens here happening here, and then we have these kind of yellowy, pink, blue, there's, again, hard to see. I wish, uh, you know, I, I wish I had a better camera, better equipment. Um, so you could really kind of see just some of the energy that's happening. And it's in that, um, those compliments and those colors that are kind of mixing with the eye and some of these areas that uh, give, give your skin tones more life. Um, so it's barely perceptible even to my eye. So I know this uh, camera is, is not doing the thing. Um, at this point, I'm pretty much just fiddling on this hand. Um, uh, it, it can really be done. Still picking out a few choice areas. I think this will be good. Um, it's a lot of red reflected light right here. I'm gonna kind of I'm gonna overdo it. Um, light shining through this like uh, fold of the skin, and I guess the sound is scratchy. <clears throat> I don't know if it's because of what I was doing. I don't know. We're well. We're about to stop. So, sorry, y'all. This sounds scratchy. Apologize. Oh yeah, we're about to take a break. About to break. It's basically whenever I want to say, done, uh, or uh, which I think is is very soon. And I'm only going to continue to fiddle if I if I s stick around. So. All right, I think that's all for now. Um, coming back, we're gonna come in, we're gonna take over this uh, this, this lower hand here. Uh, I'm really excited about that one. Um, most of all because it's, uh, I just like the gesture a little more. And we'll, we'll see if I can actually achieve this foreshortened pinky or not, I don't know. Um, I, I have my doubts, <laughs> we'll see. All right, hey, thanks for being here everybody. We'll be back, uh, I don't know, 1.32? It's usually somewhere in that range. Thanks for being here. So it's like an hour and a half. Yep. See you. See you guys. Brock. Great to see you. Torin. Georgia. All you guys. Yep. Appreciate it. Thanks. Yep. Bye. Bye.